The Morning Office for December 24th, Christmas Eve. Wake up, my spirit, awake lute and harp, and I myself will awaken the dawn. O Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon me. O Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon me. O Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world, grant me your peace. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. The morning reading is taken from Luke's Gospel, chapter 1, verses 67 through 75. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And Zechariah was filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke this prophecy. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. For he has visited his people, he has set them free, he has established for us a saving power in the house of his servant David, just as he proclaimed by the mouth of his holy prophets from ancient times, that he would save us from our enemies and from the hands of all those who hate us, and show faithful love to our ancestors, and so keep in mind his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, that he would grant us free from fear to be delivered from the hands of our enemies, to serve Him in holiness and uprightness in His presence all our days. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. The morning psalm is read from Psalms chapter 40, verses 7 through 9. In sacrifice and offering you take no pleasure. You have given me ears to hear. You burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. And so I said, Behold, I come. In the volume of the book it is written concerning me, I'd love to do your will, O my God. Your law is deep in my heart. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. Even so, even so, come, Lord Jesus. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Purify my conscience, Almighty God, by your daily visitation, that your Son, Jesus Christ, that is coming, may find in me a mansion prepared for himself, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, You have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power, that I may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ my Lord. Amen.